everyone, it's your girl Savvy back with you for another edition of Savvy Second Act. Today is going to be another, you guessed it, non-sponsored video because that's how I do these days of a product that had, oh my gosh, this company has just done an all-out blitzkrieg on social media and they spewed out a couple of those buzzwords that drew me in and I succumbed and I brought a couple bottles and I want to share my experience with you guys because that's what this channel is. This is for anyone who is middle-aged and like myself, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist, I don't consider myself an expert in either of those fields, but I know what I'm experiencing when I try things and I share that information with all of you, things I have found that work, things that I'm currently finding that work or don't work, just to help us all pro-age together beautifully. So now today is going to be a product that is a supplement for menopause and perimenopause. So if you are not a woman in perimenopause or in menopause like I am, you can bypass my video today. It will not hurt my feelings at all. However, if you know someone that is in perimenopause or is menopausal and they're looking for some relief for some symptoms that they're having, please stay tuned or pass this video on to them. I would really appreciate that. In the meantime, for those of you who are going to stick around, if you haven't already subscribed, smash that subscribe button, like, comment, you know the drill. So let's get down to it. So today's product is a product, as I said, I have seen this on social media just blast constantly. And I finally just decided to try it. Now I have been in menopause about two and a half years now and I have dealt with it without turning to bioidentical hormones. I have done, you know, some, a variety of things. I've done my own research. I have talked to my doctor and I have some, you know, an arsenal of things that I use that I think really do help. And I will get to that in this video after I showcase this product and talk about this product. So the product I'm speaking of is put out by a company called Happy Mammoth. And they have a lot of products. They have more than just this product. But this product in particular, they are pushing like it's the next best thing since sliced toast on social media. And they are pushing it with little blurbs like, and this is what drew me in, gets rid of menopausal belly. Gets rid of menopausal belly. They have people, now I don't know if they're real commenters or they're fake commenters, because sometimes it's hard to tell, and companies kind of have a propensity to do that these days, to put in fake comments from fake uh, commenters or you know people with fake TikTok and Instagram and Facebook profiles, so forth, to, to push their company you know forward to, to promote their products. Most of the commenters were saying things like, I've been taking this product for three weeks and I've already lost 10 pounds. And the thing is, is, when I was looking through the thread of comments, I really didn't see very many bad reviews or people saying other than that the product worked for them. So, red flag, suspicious. okay? I, I work for a company that makes beauty products and supplements, health supplements. We don't make this product, but... You know, when a company has all good reviews, to me, yeah, ding, 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 something ain't passing the smell test. Because that isn't going to be the case, and I don't know, I don't, I don't care how good the product is. There's always going to be that, those people that it just didn't work for, and they're just going to gripe. So, when I saw the ad for Hormone Harmony, that's what this product is called, this is one of their products, Hormone Harmony, and it was all about people saying they lost their tummy, their belly bloat, they lost their, their tummies flat now, they lost 10 pounds, 15 pounds, whatever. That drew me in, guys, because I thought, okay, maybe this is different. I'm going to give this a shot. Maybe this is the difference between taking a whole lot of products in one day and just taking three simple capsules with my breakfast. You know, like, let's, let's give it a try. Now, the next thing I want to tell you is... It ain't cheap, okay? It's not a cheap product. This is not a product that's $20. This product retails for about $50, give or take. 
And of course, if the product does work for you, the company is going to give you a discount to sell you more of it. So if you get a bulk buy, you know, do a bulk buy discount, like get three bottles, six bottles, a year supply, whatever. Or you get a subscription where it's on a rotation of coming monthly or every three months. Of course, the company's going to give you a discount. I think most companies these, these days are pretty good about that. And that is awesome. I like that. But I bought just two bottles. I think I do get a little bit of a discount. But again, this isn't your $10, $15, $20 product. This product is over $40, okay? That's how much it costs. So, you know, that's what, let's, let's talk about what's, what they say on their box as opposed to what is in their ad, okay? So on their box, they make the, this claim. Balances hormones, relieves menopausal symptoms, reduces mood swings, alleviates bloating so that right there when i got it in the mail i was like alleviates bloating that's different than menopausal belly some women might think menopausal belly belly is bloating i guess you could you know they could be one in the same but i would think that most women who are who are talking about and complaining about menopausal belly that they're really talking about the extra bit of fat that we have on our gut currently that no matter how much diet and exercise we do and I am a very good dieter and I do exercise every day I have a routine that I do about four days a week and I'm lifting weights and I'm you know I dance I do like the dance aerobics and I take walks and you know so I'm doing all those things but just I am a woman in late middle age I'm going through menopause and that gut is just it has just accumulated there have the little pooch and I know there are other women like me and so when they hear menopausal belly I think that's what more women but I could be wrong if you think I'm wrong put that in the comment below and I'll you know agree to disagree I don't know on the back it does say so here are some pros of the product no added gluten no added sugar no added soy no added dairy free from GMOs no added artificial colors vegan friendly free from preservatives. So when they say vegan friendly, I don't see that it's vegan certified, but that's okay. Vegan friendly, uh, I guess that's uh, about as good as you're gonna get. It is made here in America. They have a proprietary blend here of all kinds of stuff from maca root extract to fennel seed powder to chamomile extract, berberine. Oh gosh, guys, just a whole lot of stuff. Broccoli sprouts and you know, they had gymnema and, you know, so much stuff, rhodiola root and just their proprietary blend of things that make this product unique, you know, in its, in its ingredients. And uh, it's a vegan capsule. It says it's in a 72 vegan capsules in this bottle. And it says on the back, hormone harmony helps to relieve menopausal symptoms, mood swings, bloating, alleviate symptoms of stress, helps to reduce premenstrual tension PMS. So if you're in perimenopause and you get PMS still, it's good for that. Helps relieve irregular periods, helps relieve menstruation pain, helps support cognitive function and mental endurance. Nothing about weight loss here. On the internet, all, everything's weight loss. I lost 10 pounds. I lost five pounds in five minutes. I lost 10 pounds in 10 days. I, you know, but on their actual box, and I'll tell you why that is. Because on the internet, they can get away with, you know, this outlandish puffery and having, you know, putting in, you know, just testimonials of people saying if, whether they're real or not that they use the product and lost weight. But they can't say it on their box, I guess, because they don't have any claims that are, you know, my, my take is they don't have any claims that back that up. And so they can't put it on their box. Um, the other thing that... I have, I do like about the product. If it did, if it does work for you, you can join their VIP private Facebook group for like support and stuff. So I actually do like that. I think that's a nice way to, you know, be supportive to other women going through, you know, similar issues. I thought that was really nice with the company. I will say the customer service people were fairly good, especially when I was interested in buying. Um, they were all over me, but they were super helpful. You know, they were on me like, you know, stink on, you know what, but that's okay. You know, at least they were there. I, I've been interested in other products where I couldn't get anybody on the phone. I would send an email or, you know, try to live chat with someone, you know, nothing crickets. So hats off to their customer service people for that. So let's talk about my actual experience with this product. Been taking it for two months. 
I think that I've always said 60 to 90 days is a good college try for anybody with a product that's trying a new product, whether it's a beauty product, a supplement, a, a skincare product, hair care product, uh, whatever. I think 60 to 90 days is a fair shot. And I think most people would agree with me. Yes, sometimes some people take longer. I understand, but I still think that if you give something 60 days at least, or 75 days of taking every day, if you don't see even the slightest bit of results, it doesn't mean it's a bad product. It might work for 100 people over here. It's not the right product for you, and it may not be the right product for 50 people over here. So you, you see where I'm going with that. So let's talk turkey. This is a vegan product, so let's, lot, let's not talk turkey. Let's talk menopausal supplements called Hormone Harmony. What was my experience? I'll be real with y'all. This product didn't do a darn thing for me. Not one thing. Now, I will give them this credit. It may have mood-supporting proponents to it, for other people. One thing I am not going through in my menopause so far, you know, knock on wood, it stays that way, is moodiness. If I'm in a bad mood, yes, oh, there's a reason for it. I'm pissed about something, or I'm upset about something, or I'm dealing with anxiety over something. And I've been through therapy. Shit, I live in LA. You know, <laughs> I've been through therapy. So I know how to deal with my anxiety if I if I have it, okay? So I really am not the best person to ask if this product with whatever it has in it, adaptogen, whatever it has in it, is helping my mood. I don't know. My mood is always pretty upbeat unless something is wrong, you know, but most of the time I'm a very upbeat person. I'm not moody. Although I will say the fact that I spent $100 on two bottles of this just about and be taking it every day and it's not really doing anything makes me a little unhappy. I mean, there's that. So I don't really know if it's helping my mood. Maybe it will help your mood if you're a moody person during menopause. I can't tell that. It did not decrease my hot flashes. I had to do something else to decrease it because it's hella hot here in LA. It's summertime. It's hot everywhere. This did not decrease my hot flashes. It did not take care of my night sweats. Again, I had to turn to other things to reduce my night sweats and get some darn sleep. Um, the most important thing was what they claimed. Weight loss. Menopausal belly. Now, I have lost 8 pounds this year just on my diet and exercise program thus far. And I'm at a pretty good weight for my height and for my body frame. But I do have the pooch, and that has not gone away using this product. Now, as far as bloating, I take a probiotic every day. I don't really have bloating in the technical sense of bloating, which is, you know, being very gassy, you know, and having that gassy bloat. If I do get gassy from eating something like sometimes cucumbers make me a little gassy, not to overshare, I'm just saying, you know. Then I will just, you know, I'll take a gas X or I'll do lemon juice and fresh lemon juice and water, a little warm water. Or, you know, there, baking soda and water works beautifully. Try and true, old, old trick. All those things can get rid of gassiness very quickly. But I didn't feel this did anything even close to that. So maybe it helps people with their digestion if they are gassy in that way and they're not on a probiotic or something they don't take other things for for bloating like that um but it just didn't do anything for me so i went to the company and told them my results and instead of saying initially oh i'm so sorry ma'am let us set up a return for a refund for you the first thing out of their mouth was well you know what you need you need this other product that we sell to go along with it that to help you lose the weight. It's called this, and you'll put it with that. And I'm like, no, 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 no. You all should have said that at the beginning. In your ads, you should be saying, and if you want to really lose weight or have a weight loss aid with your healthy diet and exercise plan during your menopause, you may want to pair our hormone harmony with, hmm, 
product that we offer not after I say this one didn't work as you said it would work that's like me having a crappy meal at an expensive restaurant and complaining to the waiter and then saying oh ma'am I'm so sorry here push that plate over and let me bring you the, the dish that goes along with that dish to make it better now I don't want more of your damn rotten food I want my money back after I pushed a little bit, they are setting up the return for a refund for me. And they were, you know, they kind of backed off on the whole, you know, we'll buy more of our stuff. That's the answer there. No, 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 no. I did not like that. Didn't like that that their customer service person came up with that answer. But having, you know, the experience that I have working for a company that sells supplements and beauty care products, I know they have to to do that they have to try to keep you as a customer and everybody has different sales techniques so at the end of the day it really didn't bother me that much it kind of made me laugh and they are going to return uh, set up the return for the refund so if i had to give this one out of five stars five being you know it's a fantastic product one being it's you know it's total garbage and junk um i'm just going to give it like a mid-tier two and a half stars only because i do think this product may be right for some people I, it wasn't terribly hard to take uh three three capsules they're nice and you know they're not tiny but they're you know they're easy to swallow three capsules with a meal easy cheesy peasy um i think that fifty dollars a bottle is a little expensive especially when something doesn't work but if it does work for you as i said the company will offer you you know bulk discount or subscription discount really really would be worth it if it was if it worked for me the way they said it was going to work um i'd be willing to pay that but you know it's not the most expensive product out there i'm sure it's not the cheapest but you know i think again we're talking about mid-range whatever so two and a half savvy stars not it, it to me i it, they they don't match their hype guys to me but Again, you guys, if you're looking for something like this, especially with the vegan aspect and the dairy-free and the no sugar added and no added gluten and all those things, no soy, you know, sometimes those things mean a lot to people. So if that's the kind of product you're looking for, I urge you to talk to your doctor first, make sure it's going to be a good match with other supplements you may be taking or, you know, if you're on medication or anything like that, and then give it a shot. I'll post their, I'll link, you know, below for their website. Let's get on because it's turning into a long video. Let's move on to what I went back to doing that actually really works for me. And I'm going to continue to do this. Now, before I get into this, somebody, a friend of mine said to me, well, you should try a product called Gleeful. They're kind of their biggest competitor and they're less expensive than a Happy Mammoth. You may want to try a bottle of one of their products and see if you do better on Gleeful for less money so I may I may try gleeful I think I have seen an ad or two from them so I may try them in the future if I do I'll I'll update you guys you know on that and my experience with that product if I if I do it but here's what I've been doing for the most part for the last two years and what's been working for me so I already mentioned the probiotic I switched my probiotic around I take 60 billion active cultures or CFUs colony forming units per day this one's from bio 360 it has some zinc copper a c d3 and l glutamine to help support my immune system love this product I take three of these a day this helps with the bloating and the digestion I also take something that is very inexpensive on Amazon it's been around a while this company and this is their weight management formula and it was $13 and this is called Estraven and they have several you know types this is Estraven for weight management and this does help with my hot flashes during the day and I feel like it does help me maintain may not lose weight but maintain a healthy weight okay um, really like this product a lot and this is probably my number one go-to product to get rid of the the hot flashes during the day it really does seem to work for me quite nicely and you know 13 dollars can't beat it with a stick um at night to get rid of the hot flashes at night so i can sleep and every other person in my house can sleep or every other being in my house can sleep I do take magnesium right now I'm taking uh, doctor's best high absorption magnesium 100% chelated uh, chelated means they get like the heavy metals out of it if you don't know what that is so chelation is sometimes important to people 
Um, I also do my tea or my water at night with some maca, organic maca powder in it. And a lady, uh, gosh, she is uh, Shelly Fowler. If you haven't checked out her video, she's amazing. I believe Shelly Fowler, uh, who's a YouTube sensation down in Australia, beautiful girl. She turned me on to maca powder and I've been using it ever since and it really alleviates my hot flashes at night or night sweats. Really don't even get them. My doctor had advised me to also use, I, this is the one prescription I use other than Retin-A, estradiol cream. I don't ingest anything for my menopause, but I do use estradiol cream. I'll put some on the inside of my arms. It really does help. Um, this cost me nothing because my insurance covers it. And progesterone cream. I like this brand, Source Naturals. Get it on Amazon. Very cheap, like $10 price range. And I also take DIM and DHEA. And both of these things help me in menopause. And yes, I talk to my doctor before I started taking these. I take a multivitamin every day with my breakfast as well. And with all these things, I am able to seemingly get through menopause and not be, you know, too uncomfortable. Not near as many hot flashes during the day. I mean, it's hot right now, so, you know, yeah, I'm going to get hot flashes when it's summertime and it's hot. But nothing near what I got when I first, you know, entered menopause. And all the other symptoms seem to be taken care of. Would I like to get rid of my gut a little bit more? Absolutely, I would. And as soon as I find a product that helps me do that, you'll be the next people that find out about it. So I'm still in search of that. So that is my video today. That's what I do, guys. Um, a 20-minute nap, sometimes three or four days a week, I'll take a 20-minute nap in the afternoon if I feel like I'm getting tired because I think menopause does make us a little tired. I think the heat makes us tired, too, and, you know, again, it's summertime. Uh, Hollywood hot tip because I always am good for that. So this Hollywood hot tip actually comes from a favorite of so many people, including me. It's been a favorite of people for a long time. The splendid and fabulous George Hamilton. Now, if you don't know who George Hamilton is, he's an actor. He was in uh, some really wonderful movies. I think my favorite movie of his was um, like Love Bites in the 70s. It's a really funny movie with uh, him and... Paul Apprentice, and he's like Dracula. It's really cute. Um, nowadays, he's kind of just an older guy who is, you know, you see him on TV every once in a while. But George Hamilton was known for his tan. He always had a tan. Very handsome older man. Always had a tan. And I read an interview with him, and I don't know how old this interview was. I forgot to, to look. But he was saying in the interview that he no longer lays out in the sun because we all know that's bad for you. I'm, I'm shocked when I go on like TMZ or uh, page six and I see some famous person's vacation photos and they're in a bathing suit laying on the beach getting a tan. Some reality star or something. I can't believe it. Like people really like we know the sun is not good for us. Definitely not good for those of us that are in middle age. So George Hamilton said he doesn't lay out in the sun anymore. He says he'll go out and he'll get, you know, some sunshine. He's got some sunblock on or whatever. He likes the sunshine, but he doesn't tan in the sun anymore because he has his own line of fake and bake of self-tanning lotions. And so he just uses that. And I have to say, the man never looks orange to me. He always looks like a natural tan color. Now, I will post... If I can find his products, I will post his website below. I did not look them up because I have a favorite, two ta favorite tanning sprays that I use. One is a foam and the other one is a tanning spray. It's just Neutrogena. It's a tanning spray. I use the medium. I love that product. I think Jurgen's Glow is also a good product, particularly the one that has the sunblock in it. Those are all really nice products to give you a nice summery light tan glow without looking like shoe leather or like somebody who, you know, is going to end up with a problem later on in life with their skin, either super wrinkly or, you know, something worse than that. But I found this company, I actually found this at Big Lots a couple of years ago and I bought, um, I bought it back then. I went back recently. They, they had it again. 
It's from a company called Be Tan Forever and Ever, and it's a long-lasting self-tanning mousse. And let me tell you what I like about this product. It's easy to use, it doesn't streak, and for me, it gives me, I have kind of light olive skin naturally, it gives me like a nice natural look. It doesn't, again, make me look orange or like a weird dirty brown, like, you know, how like you, some people look like they just put on like brown powder and they didn't really blend it, you know, how people will do like, they'll just do it wrong. So I really like this. This is probably the closest over-the-counter product I've ever found to a uh, place I used to go to in Santa Monica called Chocolate Tan, where they had a really nice spray tan that was very natural in color as well. So George Hamilton, smart man, handsome man, talented man, knows enough now to use self-tanner as opposed to sunbathing next to his, you know, Beverly Hills pool. So that would be my Hollywood hot tip today is do not bake in the sun, fake and bake in your bathroom. All right, everyone, till next time, I'm actually going on vacation, but I'm not going to be laying in the sun. I'm going to be visiting with family. So until next time, I probably won't do another video for two, three weeks. So until then, you guys stay fabulous, stay cool. I'll see you then. Ciao, ciao.